This is something that my maths class found quite difficult when we were doing it last week. So I thought I'd go over it again in a video just to help a few of you out. And in class we were rounding to the nearest 10, the nearest 100, the nearest 1000, and in some cases we were even rounding to the nearest 10,000. So why do we round? Okay, It allows us to make a number a lot simpler, but also keep it close to its original value. In this case, I'm going to round to the nearest multiple of 10. So my nearest multiple of 10 to the number 73 is 70. And 73 has been rounded down because I looked at the units and it was less than 5. So that tells me that I need to round down to the nearest multiple of 10, which was 70. But if I had the number 76 and I looked at its units, it tells me that 6 is above 5. So I need to round it up to the next multiple of 10, which is 80. When we are rounding to the nearest 100, nearest 1000, nearest 10,000, sometimes it can get a little bit trickier. Okay, so I'm going to give you the number 143. I'm going to draw a little number line at the bottom there. So we've got 100 at one end, 200 at the other. Why? Because these are multiples of 100. And 143 would go around there on my number line. Instead of looking at the units this time, I'm going to look at the tens column, which is a 4. And 4 is our rounding number. We know from our rules before that if it is 4 or less, we round to the previous multiple of 100. So 143 rounded to the nearest multiple of 100 is going to be 100. But what if I gave you the number 176? Let's have a look at our tens number. It is a 7, and we know from our rules that if it is 5 or above, we round up to the next multiple of 10 or of 100, whatever you are rounding to. But I'm rounding to the nearest multiple of 100, so I look at my 10's number, I know that it's more than 5, so I round up to the next multiple of 100. So 143 is going to be rounded down to 100, and 176 is going to be rounded up to 200. And now we know these basics. The rest of rounding is going to be extremely easy. So I'm going to give you the number 1486. Okay, and I want to, want to round it to the nearest multiple of 1000. So I'm going to have 1000 at the one end of my number line and 2000 at the other end. And I'm not going to look at the units this time. I'm not going to look at the tens, but I'm actually going to look at the hundreds column. And as before, 4 is our rounding number. We're going to round 4 down. So 100, well, sorry, 1,486 is going to be rounded down to 1,000 because it is the closest multiple of 1,000. But, for example, if I gave you the number 1,963, I'm not going to look at the units, I'm not going to look at the tens, I'm looking at the hundreds column. It is a 9, it's greater than 5, so I'm going to round 1,963 up to the next multiple of 1,000, which is 2,000. I'm sure you're getting the picture now. So, if you're rounding to the nearest multiple of 10, look at the units. If you're rounding to the nearest multiple of 100, look at the tens. If you're rounding to the nearest multiple of 1,000, Yep, you got it. You're going to look at the hundreds column. Hopefully this has made rounding a little bit easier for you. Why don't you try some examples at home? All you need is a dice and you can roll maybe three times to give yourself a three digit number. So for example, four, one, six. Okay, and I can try rounding this number to the nearest ten, which is going to give me uh, the number 420. That's the nearest multiple of ten. The nearest 100 is going to be 400, because it's the nearest multiple of uh, 100. And you can't really do these numbers to the nearest multiple of 1,000, because the numbers aren't big enough. But you could always maybe rolling a dice four times. So maybe it might give you 5, 3, 2, 6. And you can round that to the nearest multiple of 1,000, which is 5,000, because I've looked at... My hundreds column, it's less than four, so it's going to be rounded down. Hopefully this helps. If you've got any questions, just ask me in class.